You see, basically the tracing, uh, the cookies is not the important point. Is one of the point is there is a small images that allows the user to download, so that when you download that, I can record all things about it. Uh, what is their IP, what is their browser operating system type based on the user agent string. Now, what is more is when we use cookie, uh, then I can inject a cookie to recognize whether this guy is a new guy coming in to my uh, system, then I plan that cookies, I make it the uh, expiry time as far as possible so that uh, I know who that guy is and when he come back. Now, we have some point of discussions. So the first point of discussion is, uh, well, can anybody know who you are, actually? If, let's say, we implement something like this, can we? Or if, if I, I should say that if I want to know who you are, is that is this technique suffice to do it? Or do you need something more? Yeah. What do you think? Let's say the the way I trace you, okay, which is not possible, but let's imagine. Let's imagine, okay. I can trace you and associate something with your Google profile. Okay, let's let's assume we can do it, okay? Which is not possible. Then I know who you are, right? Because I, I can trace you and then associate the tracing program with tracing the cookies with the Google profile, then I know who you are. But if it's if it's not that way, let's say that it's not going through some locking mechanism, then I don't know who you are, right? So now then you can think of it for what if the firm, the company that want to trace you is really Google. Okay, it's really Google. So Google, how, how Google trace you? Basically, it's uh, ask people to use the Google Analytics, okay? And then they plant their cookies onto the browser. So what are the cookies that belongs to the Google Analytics? You can take a look at which one. Okay, so uh, shamelessly go to my homepage. Yeah, I use Google Analytics, okay? So first, call for this guy. Okay, I, I know I, I know you don't want to see it. Okay, did it. Okay, good. So the face is gone. Yeah. So uh, let's take a look at huh? um, the resource part. The cookies. Eh, YouTube. Okay, so this guy. So the guys usually are with underscore underscore UTM ABC, as sometimes it's said, okay? They are all belongs to the Google Analytics, okay? Google Analytics use these names, okay? So actually I can uh, search this site for you. Uh, Google has an explanation site to talk about uh, what are the cookies that are being used by Google Analytics, okay? So, and others like, uh, I don't know whether you have a the experience or not. The experience is like this. Uh, don't don't look at my profile, okay? Uh, you Google a site, okay? And I don't know what you have done over the site, okay? You just go there and and then later you watch YouTube. You watch YouTube, and you know YouTube has advertisement at the bottom. That banner just show the site that you have just visited or you visit some time ago. How many of you have this experience? No one? No, usually I just a uh, random, it's only you, okay? Others are just random, random advertisement. Okay, the advertisement that you are not interested in, okay? Uh, well, Google actually use another means to trace you. They use AdWord, okay? Do you know what's AdWord? Okay, then if you don't know AdWord, okay. I again go to something your sites, okay? When you go to dangerous sites, remember to use this. Okay, so dangerous site is called Hong Kong Golden. Oh, yeah, I am not member. Hey, what, 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 what? what? Not no, of course not. Not member. Okay, so there must be yeah. This is this is 
Okay, this is the essence. Okay, not Edward. Sorry. Uh, you can take a look at this here. It's a Google provided advertisement. Okay. So Google actually inject those kind of things. Now imagine, imagine what. Don't look at the title. Okay. I know you're reading. Okay. Yeah. Let's imagine that this kind of Google advertisement is all around this this internet. Okay, seems to be harmless, but actually when you load it, when you load it, they just plan uh, cookies or they know that you are a returning user, and the next sites you go usually may have AdWord AdSense. Here is AdSense again. Okay? AdSense again. Let's say I go to this page and go to the next page. Maybe a uh, what page have Google? Maybe an uh, Apple Daily. Okay, Apple Daily has Google advertisement. Okay, so then you go to Apple Daily, then you load another essence. Google look up your cookies and know that ah, that's you. Okay, and associate your Google profile with the path that you you walk through the internet. So actually, Google actually know. When you wake up, when you first put your computer, after you go to put the computer, you went to the sites that you are going, and what is the rounds that you go through in the internet, and of course who you are, and that's why they can give you some advertisement message for you. Okay, so there's one way. Another way, how many of you have heard of the keyword called retargeting ad? Ad, sorry, retargeting advertisement. No. Yeah. Am I going to the wrong class? <laughs> Retargeting ad. No one have heard of it? Retargeting marketing or ads. Never heard of it? Okay. I try. I try. Okay? So these are the ads, right? These are the ads from a uh, from Facebook, okay. So I try. I go to some some place, okay. I let me think about who will pay for. Okay, so let's try. Amazon. Amazon. I I go to Wilson Books. Wow. See what I search. I usually search these guys. See, see for first computer architecture. Okay. Uh, let's let's choose a a a oh. I don't know why I type. I, I, I'll just click. Okay, what happened? What happened? Okay, so let's click um this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. I want to buy C plus plus programming language. Let's see. Okay, so just click through it. Okay, just click through it. Go in there and and quit and then stop and will. Is it is it a Amazon? No, will. Aya. No. Once the point of time is, it is very fast. Okay, or maybe this, maybe this be crazy. Pay, pay Facebook a lot. Okay, hide it. Okay, it is a spam. Okay, low again. Aiyah, no why? Confirm no. Hey, I want advertisement. Come on. Ah yeah, okay, okay. Maybe late, later I I saw that advertisement. I post it to you. Okay, I post it on the Facebook group. Okay. You can you can talk to the Facebook team so that they can give you tons of advertisement. Ah really? Oh, let me message Billy. Okay. <laughs> I want ad. Give me ad. Well, wow, this time it's more people. Okay, I don't I don't know. Okay. So that this stuff we targeting. Okay. So what's we targeting? Uh, maybe I I try once one. One, once more, okay. Close it. Facebook, load it again. Ah, yeah. This was that games. Okay. Yeah, forget about it. Okay. I remember there's one time that I, I go to, want to buy a book. Okay. Then I give it up. Okay. Maybe oh, maybe the key is I put it in the shopping cart and don't pay it. Okay. So I put a shopping cart and don't pay it, and then they keep on fucking me, saying that yeah, please buy, please buy in a in a Facebook ad field, okay? So how Facebook can do it? Do you feel do you feel that if that's the that's the case, it's very horrible. 
Yeah, but how? How? Okay? So I, I don't explain it because uh, I, of course uh, you have to be a very big size so that uh, it is uh, working. Now first of all, let's say this is an air aerosol. Don't come. Okay, so this uh, Amazon, this, I'm uh, not Adrian, sorry, Amazon. This Amazon, so Amazon pay Facebook for advertisement. Okay, so that Amazon page will have a little JavaScript for some, let's say, images. Okay, so that when you load this, this, this little program, you will tell Facebook that, hey, this is me. I am Facebook profile 1234, okay? I am Facebook profile 1234, tell Facebook, okay, Facebook profile is okay? So call Facebook that, uh, yeah, I just visited their site. So then Facebook has a record that you go there. It's because you uh, put it there, and later when you come back, because you are using the same potential to go back to the Facebook page, then you will see the advertisement, okay? So it's called retargeting, okay? Uh, let's see, for the last time, I want advertisement, give me. What? Tell me, okay, I surrender, okay? I try once, one last time, this is not this size, okay? Another one. Uh, I remember this. This is very uh, optimizely. Okay, I visit optimizely immediately. I receive it. Okay, let's see whether it is. Okay, I go to optimizely, uh, do some browsing, go to Facebook. Hey, 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 hey yeah, coffee. Okay, I don't want it. Okay, no, no, no. Ah, yeah, no. Uh, oh, please, those are pages. Okay, so maybe you try, okay, once I see the as I tell you, okay. Now, they are also using cookies. And you saw so many cases that using cookies to, to kind of trace you, okay. So, the bottom questions will be, to, uh, no, second, second one, okay, not bottom, okay. The second bottom of the questions will be of your interest. Is it legal? It's legal to do this, okay? Or, or I should say, in Hong Kong, no one cares, okay? Because our our government don't know what is technology, okay? Yeah, yeah. You ask, you ask our 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 C Y L D. He he will say yes, I know, I know. It's a C a C. Okay, actually, don't know. Okay. Now, no one cares, but in somewhere in the world, they care. Somewhere in the world, where is Cookie Law? See? Where? Europe. Europe. They care. There, there is a law passed several years ago. They call it Cookie Law. And who passed it is EU, okay, European Union. Okay? And that's why nowadays when you go to some sites, uh, You should see, yeah, this banner. Yeah, this banner. You seldom see it several years ago, okay? But when you want to set up sites, branches, uh, or domain on EU, of course, at NBA.com, I have many people to see it, okay? They may be hosting server in Europe. Then they have to say something like this. We are using cookies. Do you want me to trace you? Okay, so this is the law. This is the law. And this law doesn't affect US company, so you won't see Facebook popping up this and say that I'm using cookies, okay? Do you want me to be targeting some send some ad, okay? Yeah, they all do it, okay? But uh, some company will. So, Facebook already doing something like this, okay? but not so explicit can you see this no one 
No one take a look at this, right? Let's take a look. Take a look and click and unlike the mba.com, mba.com show the banner telling you that yeah, we want to trace you, okay, you accept it, usually you won't click it, okay, you will click course. Uh, Facebook don't tell you and trace it silently and they have obligation to tell you that hey, we are using cookies, okay, and what are the cookies and the technology that you are using and they have explanation. Uh, yeah, those are bullshit, okay, yeah, for the case I know and uh, yeah, they, they don't tell you secret. They don't tell you all the mechanism, okay? And uh, yeah, but Google tell you more. Google cookies, okay? They have a video to explain what are the cookies that we have used to trace you, and they also give you the names. I remember. Uh, it should be the names is also up here. Let me search uh, Google cookies underscore underscore UTMA. Okay. Uh, should be a site host by Google t explaining all the cookies. Yeah, this is the page. Okay. So Google Analytics has a uh, uh, has uh, being very responsible, telling you that uh, I'm using such a JavaScript file to start tracing you, and this JavaScript file will eventually plan uh, cookies with expiration time two years for a specific purpose, and others, uh, there's a two years, there's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, so and so forth, okay? So this is because of the law passed by the European Union, they tell the, the companies that hey, if you want to comply with the law, please explain everything that why you use cookies and what are the cookies that you're using, what is the usage. Uh, Google do more. Google tell you the names, okay, and you are welcome to delete something, okay, as long as you know what are they. Okay, so that's why later on I, I told you I, w I would disclose how Google, and, and Google Analytics works. Actually, I don't need to do any uh, reverse engineering. I just find the features here and tell you, okay? So, this is about cookies and the tracing, retargeting, advertisement, so and so forth, okay? Oh, by the way, uh, you can... Uh, uh, if you have uh, time, you have money to spend, you can try doing retargeting, okay? Uh, last but not least, are they harmful? Are they harmful? What is the meaning of harmful? Harmful may be uh, uh, just some people telling you, that, oh, you click on it, you download Trojan or something like that, okay? But being planning some cookies, I would say that they cannot do real harm to you, okay? But some something passive, like a, like a, you go to some pornography sites, okay? Let's say, okay? Yeah, don't don't lie to me. Some people will do it, okay? Uh, you go to some pornography sites, and those cookies are being planned on your browser, and one on one day you are doing FYP presentation, and you go to a browser. So happen that. There is an ad that will read that cookies, then will show you some interesting advertisement. <laughs> okay? Yeah. I heard that there were some professor, not me, okay, has, has, has tried this, okay, in, in front of the class. Okay? And go to some site and whoop, there is a very attractive woman with no, uh, with no something, you understand, huh? Okay, so very horrible. Huh? Okay, so uh, later on, uh, we'll also talk about uh, the use of uh, other storage, like uh, local storage, session storage, okay, but not so early. Okay, we'll be uh, close to the end of this course, uh, talking about the storage. You know, cookies is a type of storage, but you cannot say that, oh, save a file on the cookies, okay, well, which is forbidden because of one restriction. The restriction doesn't come with the browser, it's coming from the server. You know, when people want to give you cookies, they will send you in terms of a response header. And the response header actually has a length limit, okay? Default limit is around 8K, okay? Around 8K, so that means that uh, you cannot send a huge 
data using cookies, okay? So we need something else. Later I will explore. All right. So this these two guys are, are used uh, using a JavaScript. All right. Uh, then I can stop. Uh, for the persistent cookies, uh, if you want to know more, you can visit the later sites. Okay. And there is uh, some projects try to do the following. Okay, you know, uh, cookies is very easy to remove. Okay, just a Chrome extension, then you can remove it. There are people invent some even more evil tricks in order to plan information on your browser. Okay, now I'm sacrificing my my privacy. I click on it. Okay. Uh. Okay. So this is called Ever Cookie, never forget, and it's a very old stuff, okay? Uh, that guy uh, put on the GitHub as well. So one of the things that they plan on your browser, okay? They will inject many things like, uh, so when I click it, okay, they will plan the following things, all the HTML5 related storage, uh, even Silverlight if I have, yeah, of course I don't have. Uh, it should be some flash. They delete flash. A oh, flash, flash cookie. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So it's also uh, store something on the flash. Okay. So when I click on it, that guy will save some information in all the things that we have. Okay. So if you want to uh, do some uh, tracing, uh, which don't want the want the user to forget. Okay. You can try uh, fork this. Um, Fuck this guy with this project, okay? Fuck this project, okay? So go ahead. Okay, so this is it. This is about the cookie part. So any question you want to ask or any uh, strange things you have uh, 